Hi, today I'm gonna show you how to make mirin substitute. And here are the ingredients. 100 grams big onion, 2 tablespoons spring onion, 30 grams ginger. Then, we need 4 tablespoons of red cooking wine, but if you have white rice wine, it's even better. And we also need 2 tablespoons of lemon juice. Now, let's bring 400 milliliters of water to boiling. After that, put in all the cut and sliced ingredients in. Bring to boil again and switch down the heat to the medium-low. Cover it and let it shimmer for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, take out the waste. They are tasteless and will be dumped anyway. So guys, this is another option to make mirin at home if you are running out of mirin in your storeroom. But it is not recommended to keep it long in fridge. Best is to consume it as soon as possible, say it in few days, because of the sugar content. So, after most of waste is out, pour in the lemon juice, Also, the red wine. We need 50 grams of sugar and half a tablespoon of garlic powder. You may use fresh garlic too. Pour in sugar. Do some stirring to dissolve it. You may put more sugar into it, but you need to reduce the amount of it when you use it. As for me, I will use it all because I don't want to keep it. Now, let's put some garlic powder about half a tablespoon switch off the heat let it cool down a little while okay Let's prepare a filter and kitchen cloth. Filter it to get some purity. The liquid will go down slowly. After boiling for 30 minutes, actually the liquid shrunk or reduced some. Here are some waste. I let it totally cool down 
After it is cooling down, I will keep in the fridge for the next day. We going out for a walk. Weather is great today. I hope you enjoy watching. If you like it, please give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you have not done it. Okay? And if you don't want to miss my next episode, please hit the small notification bell below. Bye-bye!